I, I have jet lag and doing press and then and then I've been in Europe for a few days now, but everything's always late, you know. Dinner, movie and talking and then I but I wake up at like five in the morning. I first came here I was like nineteen. And I did, you know, the typical American uh, college student uh, staying at the hostel, you know. Mm. So my images before that were just very cliche, you know. Louis XIV, you know. <clears throat> History, old, Europe, you know, nothing specific. Well, like in America, uh, like a cliche about Paris is, uh, is the pain, you know, like the bread. <laughs> I fucking love the bread. I love bread here. And... And whenever I'm here, I would just eat a ton of bread. And uh, if you're American, the cliche about f France and French people is, you know, they're very argumentative and they're very sort of like full of themselves, you know, and kind of critical. And it's kind of true, you know, there's a little bit of that, yeah. And, uh, uh, and when you walk down the street and you see French people arguing with each other and getting mad at each other, that, that's kind of a funny cliche that, that comes true sometimes. I mean, it's such a beautiful city. It's one of my favorite cities. Why? It's gorgeous. Uh, and the Parisians are so good at gray. Gray is one of my favorite colors. And Paris is like a symphony of grays. It's like a gray museum, you know? So many different beautiful, very specific grays here, more than any city. Like gray paint, not, not gray weather. When I come here, I tend to go do the same things because I don't live here. So I always, I do always go to the Pompidou, and there's the most beautiful uh, uh, Robert Delaunay painting there. It, it's just the most exquisite thing. It's in the main, it's in the big hallway, and they keep it up almost all the time. It's so beautiful, I can't even look at it. When I, I go and I stand in front of it, and then I walk away. <laughs> and I, I go, I'm, I'm here to look at it. And I, I go back and I look at it and unconsciously I walk away. Because it's like, there's something about it. It's like too good. I like lots of different French films, but you know, for me, like uh, Alain Rene is very important, very, very important. And of course, like Truffaut, Godard, and all that. It's very important to me, right? It's, the films that I first loved, you know, that got me into filmmaking. I, I often I feel more comfortable in Europe than in America in terms of my work. My work often feels uh, it has a better audience here than, than at home. This is, I like these. Uh, this is a, this box is a, this crate. It says the first crate of Freud's, you know, Sigmund Freud's, The Interpretation of Dreams Arrives in America. So that's the box, the books in there, and it's part of the history of love. So, uh, just This morning I went out and there's beginner's posters everywhere and they're on buses and that'll never happen in America. There'll never be advertisements on Boston and the Metro. So I went around everywhere and took pictures of beginner's posters. It's funny. I was just... It's the same questions all over America and Japan and Germany and here and England. And my wife makes films too and same thing for her. Films contain their questions in them. It's funny how the same questions come up all over the place. Ah, Aznavour, Charles Aznavour. I love Charles Aznavour. And, uh, and, and one, jo one. Josephine Baker. Josephine Baker feels so contemporary to me. Even when she's singing in English, the way she phrases things, her, uh, her, she's. She feels so contemporary. It's like Louise Brooks, you know, Louise like they're contemporaries. Louise Brooks, and you watch her in movies, she feels like an uh, actress from now. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs>
right? Or people I say, want to see people you. say, this is what people say, draw your experience, draw your trip. No, draw, draw, your draw me Paris. Yeah, I can't draw Paris, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I, it's too big. I don't, I don't draw Paris, I don't know how to do that. People, people say, draw your relationship with Ewan McGregor. It's like, how am I supposed to draw that? What does that mean? Or like, I was just in Berlin. Draw, draw your experience in Berlin. I don't, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's not a very good demon. I've been talking too much today. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've been uh, talking for like a month. Uh, <laughs> that was fun. Yes. Actually, we didn't do the same questions because that was all about parents. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a crazy, such a strong. Like ten little people. Let's see what goes.